security enhancement in this country is a critical component of any reform or if we're interested in making Ghana a more competitive country globally. The Georgian Chamber of Commerce and Industry President Clinton Erlin says he is saddened by the recent actions of the opposition parties in the National Assembly to vote down four bills presented by the Minister of Home Affairs last week. Erlin said for the business community, security is a major issue of concern. Continuously at the top three, within the top three constraints to running a business in Guyana, crime and security always comes up as a constraint. Either on the, on the, uh, the cost side of things, because businesses have to invest additional sums to protect their own establishment, or as a result of the repercussion of a crime being committed on their business. So it's twofold. The chamber in a press statement said it would appear as though the opposition parties are not prepared to support any bills despite its merit or substance once such bills are presented by Minister Rohi. Erlin is hoping that both the government and the opposition parties can sit and discuss their differences given the critical nature the security sector plays in society. Dialogue, uh, discussion are very important pillars of parliamentary democracy. And we have to always ensure that both sides on any issue ventilate, scrutinize, analyze um, every bill that is presented in the House and to vote or to not vote on those bills presented based on its merits. The Georgian Chamber of Commerce and Industry wants to see a constructive and careful examination of all bills presented in the National Assembly with the aim of arriving at agreeable positions. The bills that the government wanted to be passed in the National Assembly last Thursday included amendments to the Evidence Act, the Motor Vehicle and Road Traffic Act, and the Fire Service Act. Mark Murray, Capital News.